Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I have another project today I'm really excited about. Um, I'm going to be learning and if I make a mistake, I make a mistake. <laughs> I want to decorate this tumbler. It, I like it that it's really smooth. It has just the slightest little bit of slope maybe right in here. Um, but uh, most of these metal tumblers, they have, they're like narrower at the bottom and they, they come out. It's just a little difficult to decorate, whereas this one has a pretty, pretty straight edge. I mean, pretty straight. Uh, a friend of mine had picked these up. I can't remember where she found them from, but they were on sale for $5.88. And uh, when you notice people decorating their tumblers, they usually will uh, tape off the top edge and sometimes the bottom edge. And the reason for taping off the top is that whatever coating you put on this, you don't want to put your mouth on it as you're drinking. Um, I personally use a straw only, and I do use... Um, reusable straws, not disposable ones. So since that, because of that, I don't care that I get the design clear all the way, I mean, I mean that I tape it off. I don't have to tape mine off. So what my goal is, I'm thinking through this, I'm either going to cover the whole thing with this color of uh, Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch, and I don't know that it actually says what, uh, Seaside is the color. Or I will do white at the top um, and this at the bottom and kind of make them uh, meld into each other. And this is their white. And I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So I'm going to set up in the garage, put it into a cardboard box and spray that way. And it will take a couple coats. I'm going to clean this off with rubbing alcohol first to get it all clean. I will uh, tape off the inside and also I will have it down like this in the box and so none of the spray will get inside of it. So that is my goal and then I'm going to play with printable uh, Oracle, uh, what's it called, adhesive vinyl and see what I can do with that. Hello, this is Lolly again and I am back to show you here on my uh, silhouette design studio how I'm going to grab a printable image so first of all what I want to do is change this paper size to eight and a half by eleven because that is the size of the printable okay and the other thing is this box right here is registration marks we need it's set it off but we need to change that to cameo now what this does is give us, um, um, the gray doesn't show up, the hash marks don't show up on your paper, but these little lines here do. And what those do is tell you, or tells the uh, Cameo where to cut. It finds these marks and then it knows exactly where to cut the image. So now to get my image. I have uh, in my library, user designs, I tend to put all the freebies in one place that I have gotten as far as SVGs, but then under those like uh, printable cuttable creations, I also have the ones that I have purchased from them. And I want this Llama Spring. Okay, so you'll see that when they provide them, the, this uh, company provides the separated version and the version that's together. Now I'm going to highlight that, right click and ungroup because I don't want to copy two of them, I just want one. And I'm going to copy and come over here to my new mat here and paste it here. Now I need to figure out how tall I need this. So I looked at my mug and three and a half inches is about as tall as I want that to go. So I can grab this corner and pull it in. But if I really wanted exactly three and a half inches, I'm come, come over here to the transform panel, select this here, which is the scale window. I'm going to lock this so it keeps my uh, proportions and on height, change it to 3.5 and apply. Now it is exactly the height that I want it to be. But I don't want to just print this and put a whole sheet of printable vinyl in there and uh, not be able to, and just not be able to use the rest of this. So I'm going to do this test and I'm going to run more images through here. I was looking at some of the ones that I have designed myself and thinking about what I might want to put on there. <laughs> I do like the um, 
This is one of the free designs that I had created. I need to group that and copy. Let's bring that over here. I'll worry about the size later, but I just want to bring it over. Get that a little smaller right here. And let's look at what else. Ooh, how about my dragonfly? This one is translucent, which I really like, but this one also has a solid look. I like them both. I think I'm going to grab the translucent one. Copy. Where is it? Copy. Paste. Well, that's way too big, too. If I assume that these are all going on mugs, um, I need to make them a little smaller. A little panda is kind of cute too. Let's copy him. Paste. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Um, this one. This is something I was working on for a coaster. However, copy. I'm thinking I can do this. I want to ungroup that. Oops, it's not even grouped. So let's just pull this aside. I don't want to print all of this in black. <laughs> so let's delete that. However, this is pretty cute. And it's one of my... Um, all of these, these ones except the llama, are my design. This is one of the lolly peep images I designed. Let me see if I might want something for a um, fill besides that. So I'm going to come over here and click on patterns. This always takes a while. Now my, uh, I'm working in the upgraded uh, software for this, which is Business Edition. Oh, I don't know what there they are. Here's the patterns. So with this highlighted, you can come in here and click them and see what you like. And you can also change. Oh, that's really adorable. I'm a very big fan of pink and white. So I like the pink polka dot. I also love this. But you see how you can, you can change it to where it's more concentrated amount of dots there. I think let's do that. So let's come down here at Advanced Options and scale. So if I click scale, see how it spreads them out even farther? But I want it somewhere like there. It's a happy medium, a little bit more. Oh, that's cute, but I really want more dots, bigger dots. So that one I pretty much like a lot. Very adorable. I think that would make a really cute uh, bunny on something. Okay, and that is three inches tall. Alrighty, so here's what we're going to do. I still want to fill in another one, so I think I'm going to duplicate the llama so that we can get as many items in here as we can. Another thing we can do is if you need to, you can flip things around like this one here. I can say um, object and I can rotate it 90 degrees or I meant to, I meant to go all the way around. So let's go another 90. I meant to do 180. Now it just fits better. And we just make sure we don't go over the red line or onto these hash marks. I think I'm going to uh, duplicate this one and slide it uh, object, rotate 90 degrees and put that one over here. Now I have about all I can get in here. Okay, so what we're going to do 
is first of all, I'm going to highlight all these and make sure if I send them and say cut, it's only going to cut the edges. And you see that's going to be a problem. I don't want the bow cut. I'm, it's not cutting the llama. It's going to cut all of this. So I have to be careful. This, this, these two are correct. I have to work on these a little bit. So just say cut edge and see what happens. Okay, this is fixed. The llama's fixed everything but the bunny. And I remember I had this problem before. I have to ungroup all of this. Let's go back to design. And that will have to be for another video. I've done it before already, but I don't want to mess with it right now. So I'm going to duplicate this one, make another of this guy. That'll work. Actually, I think I want another bunny. Delete. Okay, now let's see what we have here. If we do cut edge, send, and make sure it's just cutting the exterior lines of all these and nothing inside. Okay, let's go back to design for now. First we need to do is print this. I'm going to load the um, printable vinyl in my printer and you have to know which way to put it in there so that the print side is facing the way you want it. If I come to file and uh, print, I'm definitely going to choose preferences. I'm going to choose under print quality. I'm going to choose best for plain paper. I'm not really sure at this point whether that is going to be okay or whether I need to change the options. So I'm going to say, okay, and we will give it a shot. Okay. Okay. So I got my registration marks as this is how it prints. These are the registration marks. These three things here. When I feed this into the cameo, the machine goes in and out, in and out, looking for these marks, and then it knows exactly where to cut. So once you have printed this, do not move your images around at all. This is the back of the adhesive vinyl, and it just feels like um, a smooth cardstock, maybe. And um, I just changed the printer settings to thick paper and best printing quality. Now this is the, what do they call this? Um, the laminate that you put over this because if you think of a shiny vinyl this is like the vinyl without the shine and this is the shiny and this gives it the UV protection that you're going to want so I'm going to apply this now but what I want to do is avoid the registration marks because the machine is going to it might throw the machine off a little bit seeing the shine um, so I'm just going to go around that And this one as well. Overall, I'm really happy with the quality of the printing. And look at all these other mugs I can make when I'm done here. Okay, let's peel this and lay this. Let's move that. Let's peel this and lay it over here. I've never worked with this before. So this will be interesting. So you put this on. Here's one way I like to do things like this. Peel it up. See, I'm holding it down in place here, and then I'm going to tear it, pull that off, line the bottom up. Oh, that wasn't great. I just got it attached. Shoot, just so you know, it's pretty sticky. Okay, I cannot pull that off. That is really good. So I got some bubbles. I'm going to work on getting those out. Well, this is what I usually do for doing... Um, Oh, what's the thing? Uh, contact paper. And this is a totally different um, material. It is so strong. So I'm going to try and work out the bubbles from the images that are important to me here. One thing I've done before is to take offside, not on the image, but kind of like put a little bubble in there and work the, there you go. I'm doing it at an angle like this and pushing the air toward that little cut that I just made. Again, lesson learned. This is my first time doing this and I'm doing it on video. Okay, so what we will do then is run this through the Cameo. Now I was watching um, Melissa from Silhouette School said that she ran this on blade six speed eight force 16 and passes two it seems awfully 
um, heavy handed, but we're going to try it her way. Okay, I have it set up here. As I said, uh, speed is, no, excuse me, blade six, speed eight, four sixteen passes two. We will see how this goes. And by heavy handed, I meant it seemed rather forceful. I like to put these little notebooks under here just to kind of balance my mat as it comes in and out so it doesn't come forward and flop down on the table. See, it's doing its reading the registration marks. And now it can start cutting. I don't know, it sounds like it's dragging quite a bit. We'll see. And I will come back when this is done. Okay, that went through. And we'll see how well this is cut. You can definitely tell it has cut, and it looks like it's cut all the way through. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. I think what I'm going to do, though, is leave them on here until I need to peel them off for that specific project. But I do have my mug is all sprayed, and I do want to get at least one llama on there. No, that's not... Um, sometimes it's like cut so thick that it's the backing is sticking. There we go. Here's perfect. Perfect. Now, um, I thought about putting this in the center, but then I thought if I put this low enough, I could put my name on the mug. So what I do is I start with the bottom and then I kind of went up and then I'm going out to the side from there. And that is so cute, people. Oh my gosh. So I'm thinking about maybe putting Lolly like right here or um, if I wanted to, I could put another llama here or even put Lolly back here. I am not sure, but it's so adorable. If I only decorate the one side, I don't know. And actually, you can you can use this uh, hand wash it. You don't have to like put a coat on it. But I did read that you should let the vinyl cure for three days before um, before you know hand washing or doing anything like that. So I think I will even let it cure for three days before I worry about putting. I do want to resin this, and that will be a separate video. I think I do want to get my name on it, but I think I might do it on this side. Okay, so let me get some vinyl going. So I was not comfortable leaving this big open space here since I had originally intended on putting my name there. So I went ahead and cut some word, uh, letters out here. And I'm going to weed this. Now, I wasn't sure whether the pink would show up really well around that. So what I decided to do was put a white offset around there. Okay, let's see how that worked. Perfect. Now, I don't want to get this on top of my llama because it's curing right now. I don't want to lift that up. Oh, that's going to be cute. Very cute. Okay, very fun. I thought I liked that a lot better than I did before. Okay, now that's going to cure. Still two more days on this, and then I will be doing the resin on it. Thank you so much for watching.